सलामत पहले सुनता हूँ थैंक यू फॉर योर कैटेस्ट प्रेसिडेंशियल असिस्टेंट फॉर दिसाइस माइकल लॉय डीनो कॉमन एक कमिश्नर मरिया रोवेना अमिलिया गसोन माम बकोलो सिटी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ग्रेग गसताया कबायन पार्टी लिस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव रोक हारी रोके कैंडिडाटो को सीनाडोर तुम्हारे कंपनिया वो मकम कली मत कई हारे हाँ लग मंगा पिनालंगा को किसी मनवा मायों हाँ पोसे न्यू तनान बाय डू बाय ही अब ना दरवान सी डायरेक्टर हिसोस क्लिंट अरानस अपने सी नोटर नंदी डबल सिटी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव सी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ओको का पकुमंग कोंग कुने सी रिप्रेजेंटेटिव नुग्रालेस Carlo, Governor Alfredo Marañón, and the not but the list actually, Bacolod City Mayor Evilio Ginardia, and Mrs. Elsa, Mam Elsa. Ah, the gabiahe ko almost two hours. Tama ang pages nga gipe para duwara, baulintian. Te, wala ko ay isang magbasa ko nga rin nga doha na kapidjit na kagwapo ng maskara. Ano ani ako subong kasi gusto kong makita behind the mask is a beautiful people of uh, Bacolod. <laughs> De, kapamutan na mo kung believe ako sa inyo. Believe ko ah. You know, Bacolod, I was still a mayor then, suffered the most serious uh, economic dip. Pababa talaga yung sugar. With the artificial fructose, yung sa syrup, marami na kasing kompetensya yung sugar cane uh, sugar. Pero, on another event that would remain in your subconscious mind maybe, Forever, yung na disgrace yon yung san don Juan ng barko, and still you were able to celebrate. And as a matter of fact, invented an event that could bring comfort and maybe consolation to the depressed emotions of the negrinces before. Kaya believe ako sa inyo at saludo ako. Ang sabi ko ka upod ng nisubong kay kadagkang guapa ng damo ng guapa kung bakuna. Tiway, bay ko magbalon diha masigko sa. Well, in fairness, before I I just like to give also importance na gabuhat sa ane kakagot sa ngipon niya nga lente ka pilag ka oras kung nang kaimbinto sa speech ni Duterte huwag mang gani na so pasahon lang natin para huwag samok it is my pleasure to join you in celebrating your 38th mascara anniversary Born from the unified efforts of locals to uplift the people's morale from the hardships that hit the city of Bacolod and the island of Negros, the festival became a symbol of its people's happy disposition and resilience during difficult times. Every year, the festivities never failed to give guess a most memorable experience. In fact, this is one of the most anticipated events in the region. 
it is no wonder that Bacolod City is regarded as the city of smiles. Tiyak na ang mga mayor ninyo kasi gilang isi ah. Buhay mo ang kagool. Oh, kasi asa yung makita ng now ni yung mayor sige lang na gakatawa. Kung ka na muna ay gwapo ang example ah. Pati si Ma'am Elsa ah, na po uh, ang naong uh, medyo ba si Gakalisod na okay kami sa Bakulod. Tiyan mo tanda mo ng anong ilonggo ko. Nanay, nanay ng tatay ko taga Iloilo. Ah. Tilonggo man ako pero idiot lang. Pero ano ang gwapa ko ba? Ilonggo yun ko. Di sa Manila, pag-wapang babae, kaya introduce ko nga, kolonggo ko, kao longga. Di, wag ka sinabot, ah. I, I remember uh, going uh, to Iloilo noon, every vacation year sa uh, lola ko, patay na. To this day, the colorful masks continue to attract visitors from around the world, and that is true. Tiga arah mangan putih ngeriok oh, kedamu mangan ketan aw, oh. bau tamu pag uh, landing namun sa airport kita ku opat kebilog ng aeroplano ku kedagkan si guru nangan hidre opat kebog wow tay pag take off ku sedaba usara tunda tagak turun diway na tuto there are four planes there. Uh, I think to 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 I uh, saw to Cebu Pacific and to Pal. Makasabi ko maraming bisita dito ngayon. So, so arap mangani ng mga I commend the concerted endeavors of the local government and the private sector to make this event a success. May this remind the Bacolod nuns and the Negrinses and all Filipinos that we can rise up and surmount any crisis through hard work, perseverance, and cooperation. That is why I encourage everyone gathered here also to show the same indomitable resolve in overcoming the pressing problems of our country. Let us show the rest of the world that behind every friendly smile, there is an ironclad will to triumph over the struggles that come our way. More than merrymaking, let the Mascara Festival be a continuing testament that no amount of hardship could dampen the Filipino spirit. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Muna ng istorya ng gabuhat ane. Di, dari balik ta sa Binugoy. <laughs> no, I'd like, I'd like to remind the country that uh, problems uh, never cease to visit planet Earth. It is not, hindi lang, hindi lang, it's not only the Philippines. But uh, in the coming days, uh, with the uh, siege that happened in Marawi, I'm not trying to scare you. But uh, let's just be prepared for uh, any eventuality. Terrorism is uh, everywhere. And no nation has escaped from uh, the clutches of the evil of the ISIS. It's an ideology that is dedicated to just kill human beings and destroy the places, whatever of what kind, heritage, and all. And we do not know. Alam mo kasi, uh, I am a Maranao by blood. Nanay ko, nanay niya, Maranao. But my grandfather sa uh, mother's side, Chinese. Lolo, Lolo ko taga father side, lola ko taga Iloilo. 
Te may mga parente may nga damo sang da, da sa bakulod mga abansin niya. Te mga parente na mo na. So warning ko lang na this might become uh, something that uh, we'll have to worry about. And my ano ko sa terrorism is uh, just what happened in Marawi. It was an awful thing to do. Uh, to 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 just see what was evolving before our eyes. Kaya magprepare ka mo sa a little bit of caution and everything, and it would help if everybody also would watch uh, everybody. Not really a profiling. I hate it. I do not do it. Because I said, "Ko ako rule ako maranao." But uh, you know, sometimes we have to. Uh, even the, the word spoken not really because we suspect everybody but just a good measure of just knowing uh, things within your control or your environment uh, please take care that uh, nothing of the sort will happen again uh, especially here in the Visaya uh, yung Super Ferry 14 was uh, one of the most uh, brutal terror attacks perpetrated by Al-Qaeda known. So it is still there, it is existing, and it has a pledge to the world that they just want to kill those who are not with them. I have no, I have no problem with uh, Islam. I sabi ko nga, lula ko Muslim. Pero yung pagpatay ng gano'n na walang karason-rason, when you begin to de decapitate persons in front of an asking money, it's almost a behavior of an animal. Kaya ako, sabi ko, hindi, hindi ako magpatalo ng ganito. I am not saying that I would respond, but uh, we will all have the time Kasi yung polis, inalis ko sa anti-drug. Teka, pag hands up, talk mo mong mga drug addict, ara mo dore, hands up mo. <laughs> Teka, huwag mong kaulaw, ara man si Mayor. Why? Atong sa likod, ara atong katago. Teka, mga NPA, ara dore. Why? Heh, bakakun. <laughs> you know, my missus, I'd like to convey something. We have been killing each other, government vis-a-vis -vis you, the Communist Party of the Philippines. For 50 years, estudyante ako, nakikinig na ako sa kanila. Season and the rest of them. Lansang, Lapos, uh, yung mga mga hukbalahap noon naging professor namin and that was about almost 50 years ago we have been killing each other for 50 years I just would want to address myself to the communists are we going to fight again for another 50 years took us 50 years then and now. Kaya tinatanong ko kayo, ano ba gusto ninyo? You want to fight your fellow Filipinos for another 50 years? Some of you have not seen their families in ages. Lumaki na lang yung mga anak ninyo, hindi nakakita ng tatay o nanay. Yung iba na matay na lang. And we know that you raise a family. If that is your vocation, why magdawag ka pa magdamay ng ibang tao sa buhay? What I'm saying is that, uh, well, I'm not ready to say that we are ready for the talks again, but I would like to just make this uh, plea. Kindly stop killing. Ako sabi nila na 
extra judicial killings. Well, how about you? You've been killing people left and right, and soldiers even going home. Maraming sundalo na pag-uwi, na kasibilyan, pagdaba sa kampo, na, that is extrajudicial killing. It does not really fit into the nature of things now. Kaya meron akong terrorism which I'm uh, hard put. Then meron pa akong NPA front. Meron pa akong droga. I don't know if it will go right, it will go up or down, but with the police not uh, a participant in the drive and all others, including the armed forces of the Philippines. Kaya kaya sinabi na ano, alam mo kasi, para maano rin kay mga Pilipino, yung mga magpunta dito na mga human rights ko, no, tang Ang binabasa ninyo, yung ilan ang namatay sa drug war. And you make a conclusion na it, it is an extrajudicial killing. Right away, pagka walang nakitang suspect, gobyerno na ang may kasalanan. And yet, you don't ask why they are dead. Bakit ito patay? Ano ang rason nito? then you would know that uh, there are millions now of Filipinos contaminated with drugs. Noon pa, 3 million na. Yung akin ngayon, 1, 1 million, 3 also, about that. Maraming pinatay itong mga durugista, asawa nila, nanay nila, pupunuputulan yung ulo, mag ng pamilya. And yet, nobody is answering this question. Ang binibilang ninyo kung ilan lang ang namatay. You know, it's, it's a social problem. Look at it that way. Bakit ito namatay? Sinong pumatay nito? Ngayon, nung mayor ako sa Davao, you go to Davao, you can walk any time of the day or night. It's clean. Tingnan ang Davao. Yun ang template ko. Nung na-mayor ako, ganoon ko. Then I said, do not destroy. I am not a policeman or a soldier. I am a mayor just like your mayor, Pakahusay. We are building cities. We are not policemen or soldiers. But when I became mayor, I said, do not destroy the city because I will kill you. Do not Do that, uh, you know, you're destroying, destroying the youth of our, of our country. Do not do that because I will kill you. Ngayon, pag presidente ako, sabi ko, do not do it because I will kill you. Do not destroy the youth of my land because I will kill you. What is wrong with that statement? na pag sinira mo ang bayan ko, papatayin kita. Pag sinira mo yung aming mga anak, papatayin kita. Ayaw mo matay, huwag kayo pumasok dyan. Sabi ito si Duterte kung magsalita, para talaga siyang, he's the one orchestrating the killing. Correct. Sino pa pala? Gago ka. Sino pala mag-order ng gano'n? Mayor kasi tang, bayan ko to eh. Do not fuck with my country. Hanap kayo doon. No? Yung namatay na nakaluhod, nakataas ang kamay. Alam naman ang mga polis yan eh. Dalawang taon yan sila, pabalik-balik yan. I used to teach criminal or criminal evidence pati procedure nung fiscal pa ako to augment the income. Kaya nalikturan ko yan sila. Pag sabi ko, you operate, alam na nila yan. Na kailangan 
you place in custody the person arrested. And the duty of the person arrested is to surrender peacefully. Pag hindi ikaw wala kang kasalanan, pwede sabihin mo na sa istasyon o doon sa judge nag-issue ng warrant. But a policeman and a soldier, when he says that, he says that uh, I, I'm going to arrest you, surrender, drop the weapon, itong inaaresto, your duty is to surrender. Because itong police or sundalo is required by law, mandate yan, to take you into custody para madala ka doon sa judge o sa presinto. You are under obligation to surrender. Pag hindi, sinabi ng batas, the policeman or soldier must overcome your resistance. Palagang dadaling ka ngayon, Mga mara, lalo na ba taaristuhin mo? Papalag yan eh. Eh, gaganun eh, talaga ng polis yan. Yung mga lasing, o ayaw mang pahuli. E di makabukol-bukol talaga yan. Kung ayaw ang sumama, peacefully. Di ganun nga ang mangyari. O pagdating doon, demanda nila yung polis, nakatali na. Yan ang pan... Eh, bugado ako eh. Yan ang panlaban dyan. Pati yung polis, idemanda mo rin. So, mapipilitan, alam mo, the day that he is suspended, ang police, wala ng pagkain yan sa... No more food on the table. No more salary. Mga bata, di na, di na makapag-aral. Yan ang sentimento ko. Hindi naman ako, basta papatay na lang ng papatay. Pero pagkabayan ko na, uh, if it's my country, ibang istorya na yan. Ibang istorya na. So yan ang, well, I'm here just also conveying my message. Baka hindi ninyo alam yung sentimento ko rin. Pero ako talaga, ang bunga nga ako sinasadya ko yan. Bakit? I'm very courteous. But yung, basta nga rin, salita na lang salita, wala namang, hindi ka makapatay ganun kay 10,000. Eh, ito naman si, ewan ko, kayaan mo. But anyway, ako trabaho lang. Uh, uh, wala akong pakialam dyan sa rating rating tapos na ang rating ko I got 6 million majority over ba the next opponent wala ang rating ko do, yun na yung election wala akong pakialam sa rating ko either I go up or I go down I do not really give a shit wala akong pakialam dyan basta ako trabaho lang Wag mo lang gaw- uh, lukuhin ang Pilipino. Wag mong saktan ang Pilipino. Wag mong... Wag mag talaga tayo. Yan ang pangako ko sa iyo. I will... Sabi ko nga, palagi ako sa Marawi. I've been there seven times during the siege. Every time magsalita ako, sinasabi ko sa kanila, napakaswerte ninyo. I was just conscious of the words of uh, the son of Justice Abad Santos. Na, and not every Filipino is given a chance to die for his country. Yang yun ang message ko sa mga sundalo. So, magkaisa tayo dito and maybe uh, dumating naman yung, yung base dito na deploy doon, uh, baka you treat your soldiers well. They have sacrificed for this country. Baka bigyan ninyo ng party dyan. Ano lang. Yayain ninyo because they really went into hell. At yung iba did not make it. Yun ang, that is the sadness na, na ano, naawa ako na. But anyway, uh, let us get, thank the armed forces of the Philippines, the police, the Coast Guard who participated there. And of course, everybody connected with the pacification campaign. I am happy that you have given me a time to talk to you. I do not deliver speeches. I just want to discuss with my fellow human being. Hindi ako kayong tipong, Kami nagdito ngayong kami! Kasi kami kung manalo, wala rin mangyari sa bayan na to. Sa aming katamad, Ulol kayo.
Hindi ako ganun. Ako kunting salita, tapos pag na emotionally nagmumura ako, pero hanggang dyan lang. Hanggang dyan lang. Pero marami kasing saan yung mga ganda ng babae dyan kanina na wala man. Siguro gigutom na. Gutom na kayo. Oh, maghinto na rin ako. Maraming salamat po. Bakalod! President Rodrigo Roa Duterte! We will now uh, proceed with our uh, photo op.